Okay, so we are looking at um, how to play this lapel guard when you have an opponent that will not stand up in your lapel guard. So we looked at the go-to route last time was this um, this um, sling armbar. So again, I'm going to break um, shade down and start opening up the lapels is always a good thing. So I can keep head control, pull them down here. So we looked at how the first grip, the arm came over the shoulder, and on the second grip, when she had postured, I had this grip. So obviously this is going to set up squid, and this over the arm is going to set up the sling armbar. So we looked at how from there I can come inside, karate chop this arm and bring it across the, the center line, control this posture, and then I jumped into the top lock position. And then I can start pushing on the head. The detail on the arm bar was this leg comes over the shoulder. It's actually not my left leg, it's the important, it's the right leg which breaks its posture, and now I have the arm bar. But good players can hide this shoulder. I need a certain angle for my left leg to be able to jump onto um, Shea's right shoulder. So again, this is a sequence. I'll break them down, the lapels are open. Again, I'll be bringing the, the, the if I want to attack Shea's right arm, I'll be bringing um, the lapel over his right shoulder with my left hand, and then this one comes in low. Again, he will be fighting the posture, and as he does, I just pass that grip, and that's a palm down grip, and then I'll bump to get this past the center line. Now from there, I want a shoulder jump, and I get the, the inside of my left knee over um, Shea's right shoulder. But if he knows jiu-jitsu, as I go to shoulder jump, Shea's already turning his right shoulder towards me, yes. So I haven't got the bite. You might be able to see this in the video because we're both wearing black geese. We didn't wear black geese. <laughs> but actually I haven't got the bite here. Um, Shea's um, right shoulder isn't in at the back of my knee, but he's still at an angle. So all I'm going to do from this position is shrimp and get Shea's right elbow to the mat. Okay, then my left hand is going to come up and grab his knuckle line like so, like a bro hand shake. All right, and now from there, just make a fist burger, perfect. Now I'm just going to hip in and I have this Americana. If I don't get that, I can switch my grips and start attacking the, the wrist lock, but he'll probably make a fist again. And now I have the American. Let's just get another angle on that, bro. So you are here. So we need a system. If someone is staying on their knees and they're not looking to engage, especially when they start using lapels, because most of the lapel guard systems that you're going to work is, is when they're standing. I can kind of break them down, get head and arm control, start opening up the lapels. And the arm that I want to attack, the go-to move is the sling arm bar. So as he postures, I have one arm um, with the lapel high, <coughs> and my second one is low, ready for squid. And look at that on another bit. So the go-to move is I want to start attacking this arm. So I just bring the lapel off the shoulder more over the elbow line and they just karate chop that. From there, a lift of my hips gets his elbow in line with my belly button. I make the grip, I'm looking at the top lock. But as I shoulder jump, Shea's gonna turn his right shoulder towards me. So I didn't get that bite. <coughs> Still gonna attack the arm lock, but it'll be a shoulder lock now, it won't be the Juji Katami. So if you notice, Shea's um, right elbow's still in my belly button. All I'm going to do is shrimp out a little bit and physically get his elbow on the mat. My left hand is going to grab his, his, his hand. And now I just start pulling his arm this way as I engage my hip. Again, the detail is the lapel. I'm keeping tension in his arm. If I didn't have that lapel, his arm is loose, his sweat noodle. And I would have to go a lot further to try and get that. Whereas if I've got the lapel, we talked about this in the Oman Plata game, there's already tension in that. The other detail is when I get his elbow to the mat, I'm pinching my right elbow to my body. 
which is putting tension in the shoulder, which means the movement is a lot less. And maybe I'm not getting it, I just switch to that wrist lock. And maybe then back to this again. As they engage my hip. <coughs> so one more angle on that bro. Or here. So we break them down. We start opening up the lapels. We're going to go for this arm sling arm bar first. As he postures, he just let him go and he make that grip. I bump this across. I get head control. I'm looking for the top lock. And Shea kind of cuts his angle a little bit. See so the he's turned his shoulder in. I just hip out. So his right elbow falls to the mat. I keep tension in his right arm with the lapel and I glue my right elbow to my body. And now from there I just find that arm and I'm just taking it this way like an Americana. Engage my hips. Maybe if I just don't get the angle for it, I can just switch and start going for that wrist lock. Again, that'll be easy defended. And when he makes a fist, now I have the Americana. So, that's our second technique from the lapel guard blueprint.